Hello out there, all Flipper Zero fans and tech nerds. I'm bringing to you a new thing on the market. It's probably not that new. It's called the Hackbat. Something that I just casually, you know, tumbled over. And the Hackbat is created by Pablo Trujillo or something like that. Um, if I pronounce that correctly, I don't know, but I tried. So the Hackbat is a open source project that basically is the probably best alternative to a fully fledged flipper zero. It looks like this, you know, it's just a small Raspberry Pi board where that supports radio frequency, you know, you've got NFC and you've got Wi-Fi. And the thing about it is that it's fully programmable from A to C. And that, that really it, you know. Um, it actually got an OLED screen, so it, it, the screen on it is so far much better than the one on Flipper Zero. That's gonna be like, this is just <laughs> a good thing. Um, the good about this unit is that you can, you know, program it as, as you want, you know. You can create every kind of software, you can alter the OS, you can alter everything on it. You have full access to it. And now people say, oh, you can do the same thing on the Flipper Zero. So, yeah, but this is a Raspberry Pi, you know. It's, um... I don't know which board the Flipper Zero is made on. I don't really care too much about it, but this is a different thing to Flipper Zero. It's also probably also faster, I guess. So you can go ahead and check out all the specs. It's a dual core um, Cortex processor running 133 megahertz. Um, and as you can see, it's a radio frequency transceiver, NFC, Wi-Fi, OLED display. So it basically means you can run stuff like your favorite, you know, Wi-Fi pen testing stuff like the Marauder and so on. You can run everything else you would like. You can even put on a big antenna and so on. You can also read cards and, you know, NFC stuff that you also can do with the Flavor Zero. And you also can, you know, read radio signals, all that good stuff. So basically you just need to create your apps for it. And if this is what you want to do, this is the units for you. It is, in my eyes, probably more powerful than a Flipper Zero, but you know, most people just want an app-friendly development platform, which is what Flipper Zero actually give people. So you can just develop an app, put it directly on the Flipper Zero in a folder, like drag and drop and boom, good to go. I understand that. This is also really good, but it requires more technical knowledge. And if you want that flexibility and you want that extra technical knowledge, you have it actually, sorry, then this is probably the place for you to go. You know, people usually complain about, oh, it's not customizable enough, but this is this is what you want. And you want this unit. You want customizability. This is the unit you want. So if you think like, ah, where is it? This is where it is. Go ahead and get it. You can actually make it yourself. This is a DIY project. And I think here down below on the official GitHub, there's some, you know, place you can go ahead and check out what you need to do and everything. And, and, and basically you can probably also find here somewhere where which units you need to to buy and it's um yeah there's one here actually they point to it on on aliexpress and and basically it's like <laughs> less than a dollar you know it's so cheap so cheap so there's so many things you you can buy you know and you need to put it together but of course if that is too much for you Flipper Zero is probably a unit you need to get. And we are seeing more units. We probably will also see the Monster Tech M1 multi tool in the market pretty soon. And if that hits the market, I'm going to say if because they will say, eh, I don't know exactly when it's going to hit. Or actually, if it's going to hit, but I hope it will hit the market. And I hope it will take the storm, the market with storm. I hope Flipper Zero is going to get some great high competition because Flipper Zero need competition in order for the unit to be pushed against technology. We need better units with more technology that's packed and it is possible. Just look at smartphones, for example, how small they are. Imagine the power on a smartphone on a, on a Flipper Zero. Imagine that. It would, of course, be more costly. Imagine the tenth of the power of a smartphone, still within price range of something you could probably get for around two to $300. People will still buy it. So, this video is about the Hackbat, and the Hackbat is also a great customizable unit. If this is what you want, this is the unit you can customize to 100%. So if you learned something from this video, you know, I would highly appreciate you would give the video a like. Also, if you have any questions that I'm 
properly can answer, then leave a comment below. All right, if you do not follow this channel already, you know, please consider following my channel. It will greatly help me grow the channel and it will also earn me probably an extra tenth of a cent in a month. But you know, the mass counts here on YouTube, so great appreciate it if you're gonna go ahead and follow the channel. See you again online and if you get a hack bad, leave a comment below and tell me about it. Thank you.